But let's dig in to this game on Friday night. Incarnate Word taking on North Dakota State. Uh, North Dakota State does start off as a nine and a half point favor. 11 and two North Dakota State taking in 12 and one Incarnate Word. Now, Incarnate Word, just like you said, they have I think they've been probably the most surprising team to make it into the Final Four, if you will, into the semifinals. They had arguably the most entertaining game. I think you could make the argument that it was in all of college football last week against Sacramento State. 66-63 to 63 final, and I, I'm not even giving it justice because of yes. just the amount of points happened in the fourth quarter alone was insane, Steve. But this team... Really, uh, I mean, they have some strong momentum heading into this game against North Dakota State, and so does so does North Dakota State as well. They put a, a hurt on on Samford, twenty seven to nine. Yeah, you know, Incarnate Word put on you know a, a highlight reel just in the fourth quarter, fifty two points both teams combined. But Lindsey Scott Jr., their quarterback, boy, the more I see him, the more I understand why you know, the, the supporters and the coaching staff weren't that bubbed to lose Cameron Ward to Washington state. I mean, I mean, I mean, th this kid is terrific. And uh, the two uh, receivers Grimes and Chafin, man, I mean, they, they can catch the ball, I mean, whether they have to, have to jump for it, whether they're diving for it, whether it's play, put right in their hands, they don't drop balls, certainly not balls that, going to lead to scores. So incarnate word, I, what a terrific year. I mean, right. I, I mean, San Antonio is suddenly becoming the college football capital of the country. You know, our beloved UTSA Roadrunners. you got incarnate word, you have Trinity, which I, I which had been undefeated up, up until recently. So I just don't know that incarnate word has an answer for North Dakota state's running game. And I don't think that there is a running game that is as bruising as North Dakota State's. And when we talk about Montana State, I think they may have the best running game of the four teams left. But I mean, North Dakota State, it is just pounded in, you know, pounded down black and blue football. And North Dakota State, they've been here. I mean, this is just sort of like, well, of course, we're in the national semifinals. But when they lost to South Dakota State in October, I think a lot of people, and even in the back of my mind, I was wondering, okay, is this magical run over? I mean, I, you knew they were going to make the playoffs. Even, even if they weren't a seed, they were going to make it as a large bid. But North Dakota State kind of shrugged it up and said, okay, fine, we lost. And they just kept winning after that. Uh, uh, defensively, you know, they have a really special defensor, defensive end. And Spencer Wig, uh, you know, he runs down the quarterback. He runs down running backs. I mean, I've seen him drop back in pass coverage. Not a lot, but I've seen him drop back, you know, maybe cover the tight end. Th that kid is special. They're only allowing 17.3 points a game. So, yes, and Carter Word is averaging 53 a game, 53 and change a game. They're not going to sniff 30 in Carter Word. I'm not saying that in Carter Word has no chance, but they're not going to have – a game like they put up against Sacramento State. I mean, they're, they're just not. North Dakota State defense is that special. I I, I got I got to go with the Bisons in this one. I mean, I, I see the Bisons, you know, going to the FCS championship game on the 8th of January. Playoff football, especially in the F FCS, but you can say the same thing for FBS and, you know, the NFL. It's run the ball, make the big stops. And that is North Dakota State in a brief sentence. That's how good they are. They're one of the most well-coached teams in the FCS. Incarnate Words ha had a great run. And honestly, if you have not seen even highlights of last week's game against Sacramento State, people, you need to go back. Go back on Absolutely. YouTube. I, I mean, it, it, it was just – I was watching it, and I honestly I, – I couldn't believe what I was watching. I mean, it was just was special. But, I mean, I'm going North Dakota State. I'm giving the points here. I, I know it's almost double-digit points. Uh, it's not a knock on incarnate word. Uh, North Dakota State's defense is that special. And they also control, you know, the line of scrimmage on the offensive side. So I'm going with North Dakota State on this one. 
Yeah, I mean, all very good points. The fact that you think that they won't get touched 30 is very interesting because the lowest Incarnate Word has scored all season long was week three against Prairie View, where they scored 31. And that's the lowest they've scored all season long. Uh, in the playoffs, they scored 41 and they scored 66. Each of those games, they've only won by a field goal. That's the interesting concept behind them. If I had to make an argument based on a, for Incarnate Word against North Dakota State, you said the running game for North Dakota State will is immaculate. I agree with that. However, Sacramento State had a fantastic day on the ground last week, and they still found a way to win. Both teams had over 330 yards on the ground last week in that 66-63 final. Now, it, it could just come down to that again. I mean, if I'm, if, if I'm a betting man, um, I would be taking incarnate word with the points here because the last two weeks we saw them win by a field goal. So they found a way to keep it close, and we know that they know how to score points. I'm not touching this one. When it comes to points on this one, though, because North Dakota State could make this one farther away that we have seen the, the strength of this team move forward. But I wouldn't be surprised if Scott and company keep this one close and find a way to have another Cinderella upset, as we've seen so far with this team in the playoffs. They they had a, a really tight win against Furman with that 41-38 win. And then what we saw last week was just magical. I mean, I don't think there's a better word than magical. It was yeah, yeah. really entertaining uh, in itself. And then who says that's to stop, right? We've seen some crazier things happen in playoff type of you know, games when it comes to all across sports, but especially in football. Uh, who says it's to stop in this one? Incarnate Words had a magical season, and I don't know if it's going to stop in this one. I am going to agree with you. I'm going to take North Dakota State to win this football game. However, I don't think it's going to be by nine and a half points. So I guess by 10 points or more, if I'm playing this one, I would play Incarnate Word. Uh, with the points, because I think it's going to be close. I think that if anything, they lose by maybe a field goal. They keep it close. And just the fact, as long as Scott stays healthy and plays every snap for them at quarterback, mm -hmm. they're going to be just fine. He was responsible for six touchdowns, four in the air, two on the ground last yeah. week. He is a special player. I mean, one more <laughs> touchdown through the air. He's got 60 touchdowns on the year. That's just absolutely incredible. So count me in to count this one as being probably – a very good game. I will be paying very close attention to this one on Friday night. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we have another highlight reel that is just as long as the game itself, probably an hour's worth of highlights out of this game, Steve. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is the last week's game against Sacramento State in that fourth quarter. That was the game that made me miss John Facenda, that legendary voice of NFL films, the <laughs> most I have in since his passing. I mean, honestly, that was the kind of game. And when you hear a score of 66-63, you're like, oh, there's turnovers and there's, you know, there's interceptions and there's this and that. It was it was just run and gun football. You, you know, somewhere up in the sky right now, Mike Leach is watching film of last week's game and he is smiling from ear to ear as he plucks that harp. And RIP and, and our best wishes to Mike Leach. And uh, um, and his family and the Mississippi State State football family. Uh, that that's a big loss. That's a big yeah. loss to overcome. But that's the kind of football that Mike Leach invented in a, in a lot of ways right. at the college level. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you saw it in the pros with you know Eric Coriel and stuff like that. But Mike Leach, what an innovator! And but you you know that he, he's going to be he's going to be rooting on you, you know that they don't angels in the outfield it's going to be angels on the gridiron Mike Leach is going to try to pull those strings to try to get a team like Incarnate Word to the FCS championship. Hey, I like it too. Yeah, college football will never be the same um, because of what we lost this just past week. So and I agree with you. So thanks for bringing that up.